First, it's uh, Courting Alex. Some highlights. Thanks to Than for this. What station is this on, Than? I never heard of this. This is on CBS. Okay. CBS FM. 9.30. 9.30 at night? Yep. This was supposed to be a huge hit for uh, CBS, right? Yeah. And it's, uh, it's What happened? It's a disaster, right? I, I guess so. I guess nothing could do worse than Heather Graham's. Uh, yeah, one show. She's and a they, sitcom? Uh, well, she did. <laughs> one She filmed a show. lot of them. We got to one see one <laughs> show, and they canceled it. Canceled after one show. How does it, like, who who doesn't watch until it premieres? Like, what executive says, I don't want to see it until it's on? <laughs> 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 How does that get that far if it's that bad? Yeah. One show. They gave it. And how bad is the show that that gets canceled and they still have Skating with Celebrities on? They gave that hot dog <laughs> restaurant show on Fox more than one episode. Remember that awfulness that you just knew was going to bomb? Oof. Yeah. My Name is Earl is funny. I've never seen that. Is that an audience or is that, is that not an audience? I don't think it's an audience. No, My Name no. is Earl is a huge hit. Yeah, it is. It is great. Is it funny? Film. Yes, yeah. it's yeah, very, it's very funny. funny. Yes, yes. Uh, unlike courting Alex, yes. So we got some examples Alex. of uh, the comedic stylings of uh, whoever wrote this crap. Yes. All right. Here's the first one: motorcycle jokes. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Well, I gotta say, you turned out to be a pretty good motorcycle passenger. Well, it involves two skills I'm good at: sitting and not dying. <laughs> Oh, come on, give yourself more credit than that. You, you lean when it turns, you put your hands over my eyes and shout, guess who? Just that once. I got a little bored when you did that wheelie on the Williamsburg Bridge. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I got, I got Are you kidding? kidding? That's the show open, too. That's to grab you. The dialogue. That's to grab you. That's to grab you. <laughs> That's to get you watching. Yep. Oh, is that bad? <laughs> the only thing I'll say about it that's positive is the dialogue is very organic and believable. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Shut up. All right, well, uh, courting Alex, I guess they talk about the wacky British neighbor, right? Yes, she does have a neighbor. Oh, a wacky British neighbor. He's British? Yes. Unlike the wacky perverted neighbor Please from be, another sitcom. I, I, well, at least the wacky perverted neighbor gets to say, shut up, faggot, <laughs> <laughs> and go fuck yourself and things of that nature. Here we go. I am. Alex, fantastic news. Julian, hello. My upstairs neighbor, hey. this is Scott. Hi. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Two people have had a kiss, and I'm not one of them. <laughs> well, I have a tavern to get back to. Okay. See ya. See ya. I'm sorry if I ruined your moment there. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I, I have an idea. Yeah. For yeah. my sitcom, I have a wacky British neighbor, too. Uh-huh. It's Louise Woodward. And I walk in, and there's a little blue lump in the crib. <laughs> oh. uh, only, only took two days. <laughs> only took two days. And I go, what is that? And she goes, that's a little less money you spend at Christmas, love. <laughs> <laughs> An extra toppings or two. <laughs> Here's uh it's the old shilling saver. <laughs> <laughs> I give him a little shook to stop the old crying. I don't know what nationality that was supposed to be. <laughs> that was awful. I don't do accents. <laughs> All right, here we go. Jokes about donuts from uh, Courting uh, Alex. Oh, it's got to be funny then. Okay. What's your big news? I stopped at Krispy Kreme Donuts. <laughs> Why is that funny? Why? Was it a Why is that funny? What, what did he do? Was it a visual? Well, he interrupted them saying, I have news. And it's funny because his news is so trivial instead of big news. Oh, okay. So I have news. I stopped at Krispy Kreme Donuts. And he's British and snooty. Yes. And to stop at such a lowly place and right, consider right. good it's news. Right, right. It's not in his character. Is the ultimate irony. It's almost like an old lady rapping or dancing to hip-hop in a movie. I personally can't get <laughs> enough of it. It is the funniest thing 
ever in any movie. See, I have something like this too. It's it's in the show. I'm in, it's in the works. Uh huh. Where I play the wacky British neighbor. <laughs> and it's actually they stole this line from me, but I changed it. Uh huh. <laughs> um, you have, to, you have to say, what's the good news? Okay. I've got good news. Oh, what's the news? Steve Martin died of cancer. Uh, that's, uh, that's good. Can't wait to uh, see that episode. <laughs> Oh, is this just horrid? It doesn't. Oh, yeah. Just wait. Funny. I said hip hop. I hip it to the hip to the hip hip hop. You don't stop the rock to the bang bang boom. You say hop jump to the hip hop. See? How funny is this? It's an old white lady singing an old rap song. I need the groove and my friends are going to try to move your feet. See, I. One of mine, and I'd like to say hello. This must have sold to the black, to the copies. white, the red, oh. and the brown, the purple, this and is... yellow. But first, I got a bang, bang. The boogie to the boogie, say up, jump the boogie to the bang, bang, boogie. Oh. Get rock. You know, soccer song. mom, I think this is kind of funny. Oh, it's so, so funny. So they do, they do the father dance and fame. They do a jazzercise to this <laughs> with their friends. A little jazzercise. Oh. Does this guy come in later and fuck the old broad in the ass? Because that would be entertaining. You know what dance you should do? The, the uh, Central Park jogger jig. Which <laughs> you take a rock. Yeah, you throw <laughs> right in the middle of a face. Drum. Oh. That is, there is nothing worse All than right. the feisty old white broad oh. being hip hop With the like skin. it would ever, ever happen. Open minded old white broad. They're behind closed doors using the N word more than me. Oh, she's fun, Ant. Don't be such a stick in the mud. She's having fun. Why should age be? Why should youth be wasted on the young? Ah. Uh. Because uh, they still That's have prostates. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's get back to the jokes about donuts from Courting Alex. Some highlights from this fine sitcom. What's your big news? I stopped at Krispy Kreme Donuts. <laughs> That's it? No, that's not it. The hot light was on. Feel these things. They're practically radioactive. <laughs> Please don't ask me for details about Scott. Oh, I'm not going to. He's totally wrong for me. He's unpredictable, and his neck smells better than that pack of donuts. Apparently, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, fuck is she's Hysterical, great. right? Well, because she said, don't ask me, and then she tells him anyway. Right. <laughs> Shut up. That, no, but you see, I'm like, oh, forget it. They're not going to talk about this. And the next thing you know, she's spewing her guts. Right. That's what's funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's totally wrong for me. He's unpredictable, and his neck smells better than that pack of donuts. Apparently your hot light's on as well. But if you don't want to talk about it, I'm certainly not going to probe. I know you're a very private person. Come on, probe. Sit. You are so easy. Ah, uh, the little transition music. Yeah. Ouch. I understand how they got that laugh, by the way. I've been to that studio, and there's a sign that yeah. says, Laugh, or we'll make her say it again. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, here's uh, wow, good one, Lying good. to Dad. Oh, is this serious? Oh, my dad. When I left work today to sneak out with Scott, I told him I was coming down with something. Hey, Dad. Sorry, my voice is all... Yeah, sure, I'll hold for him. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah, a little... Yeah, I know, a lot of fluids. Okay. <laughs> I love you, too. Bye. Oh, I hate lying to my father. But I am good at it. <laughs> she is. She sure is. Yeah. <laughs> That's that was the whole thing. That right? was the last yeah. line. Yeah. Apparently, uh, apparently, somebody lied to the writers. <laughs> you know what? It's funny to lie to your father when you're starring in To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> uh, 
That's what is funny. Oh. <laughs> when you have Brock Peters shot for no reason. <laughs> The, that was an entire like little segment yeah. that was supposed to be funny. We didn't miss it. It wasn't taken out they of context. They were going for a laugh. It was a, a laugh setup mm-hmm. thing. The the phone call, the the sick voice, the hold on to your laughing hats. You might lose them. All right. The next one is uh, undressing each other with eyes. Yeah. Uh-oh. All right. This could get racy. Oh, this is a new Alex, bad Alex, lying and sneaking behind your father's back, Alex. I'm only sneaking around because there's nothing to tell him yet. Oh, right, nothing to tell. What was all that stuff in the hallway, then? You two are undressing each other with your eyes. We're not. Come on, you did such a thorough job of it. I could see you both naked. <laughs> By the way, he has love handles. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good job. I could see you. No- His delivery was great on that, too. Wow, the timing, the material. You just, every, what, 25 years a show like this comes around? (laughs) I think um, All in the Family, uh, just cutting edge shows that will probably stand the test of time. you got to go back to shows like MASH and Cheers. Right, just legendary shows, the the writing, the the acting. Well, the thing was that he was saying that they undressed each other with their eyes so good. That like he could see them naked, but and that's, that's ridiculous. Possible. Because right, see, Than. I'm sorry, Dan. I, no, that's fine. Because I got see, th- <laughs> but that's what they were trying to do. See, everyone understands that. <laughs> Me, you, yeah. both at the same time. Hey, that's impossible. <laughs> but the funnier part to me was when that happens, and then he goes, "The guy has love handles." <laughs> right, that brought it all together. Yeah, he's chubby. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it proved that he did see him without his clothes on. Right. Yeah. Right. Love handles. Was this the first uh-huh. episode? Uh, I believe it's the second. Okay, because she says he's the up- he's my neighbor. She actually introduced the wacky neighbor as the neighbor. Yeah. The which neighbor. Is really just terrible. Hey, we got your answer about that Emily show, by the way. Why did ABC cancel Emily after one show? That was the Heather Graham uh, okay. project or whatever. ABC committed to the big promotional campaign before even seeing a script for the show. Because it was Heather Graham, right? Those right. Dopes. Uh, the series turned out to be a dog creatively, he indicated. Once we saw it was not launching, we felt like, unfortunately, it was not going to get better, and we had to make a change. Couldn't just put her on roller skates and have her blow people? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That'd get ratings. Could you stomp on a guy on Las Vegas that. Boulevard while everybody else just jerks off and yells? <laughs> <laughs> Back to courting Alex. They talk about flowers on desk. <laughs> Morning. Oh, my God, I got flowers. They're on my desk, and you assume they're for you. Oh, I'm so sorry. They're for you. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm-hmm. I wonder who they're from. I wasn't even going to ask. I know how much you value your privacy. She knows. It's not signed. It just says, had a great time. Ah, uh, she read it. Oh, nosy. You someone, someone I don't know about? How am I going to help you cover it up if I don't know what you're hiding? <laughs> The feisty friend, is that who that is? The her, office her one? assistant, yes. The assistant, right. She's, and she's sassy. Nosy and sassy. And, and I bet you she's a little bit chubby. She's not as attractive as Jenna Elfman. Oh, of, of course, course not. I'll bet you there hasn't been a girl like that since Wendy Jo Sperber. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Remember Bosom Buddies? Wendy Jo Sperber. Uh, There's a talent. Mm-hmm. Bosom Buddies. <laughs> Sad irony there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, what was the... That's all I'll go. That's all I'll say. She's dead, you know, Wendy Jo Spurman. Is she? Yeah, yeah she died. Um, she died. <laughs> what? Yeah. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't such buddies to her now, were they? <laughs> oh, can you change the I E S to a Y? <laughs> Oh, Oh, awful. All right, we got another example of great comedy from Courting Alex. Oh, my heart. Let's listen to this clip here. Congratulations. You've been named to Manhattan Monthly's 10 most eligible list of who's who of the city's most dateable professionals. I'm so excited for you. She doesn't seem that bitter. They are going to interview you and everything. Oh, you're going to have your pick of any man in Manhattan. You know, I'm just... I think I'm going to 
Okay. <laughs> you are going to have so many guys calling you. Can I have your leftovers? <laughs> well, they men aren't Chinese food. You can't just heat them up the next day. I'll take them cold. Holy shit. Wow. wow. Oh, my God. Awfulness. Now, if she said men aren't Chinese food, it would have been very funny if the other person said, well, then how come after I eat one, I have to shit an hour later? <laughs> <laughs> I made a great choice born off this show. Was the guy gay or no? <laughs> the guy that backed... No, he was interested in her, so it was an awkward situation. Right, right. Yeah, of course. You need it's the awkward situation. Mm -hmm. What a great bit, by the way, to get sitcom lines that are awful. Oh. Genius, dude. Very funny. All right. Uh, one more clip. Oh. <laughs> this is all from one show, by the way? Yeah. And actually, also, it's in the first 16 minutes of the show. Cause I, Holy shit. I tapped out. All this comedy is in half of one episode? Yep. What was the second half? Just an executive apologizing <laughs> to the audience from behind a desk. <laughs> Some executive with glasses on. All you see as he's yeah. packing up his shit in a box. <laughs> All you see is an arm with a gun pointing from off screen to his skull, and he's just going, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry." And then in the British accent, "Oh, sorry." <laughs> the happy host. Oh, oh. The, the happy homemaker show from the Flintstones. I stink. That's all right. It's the ticket all the air. <laughs> <laughs> okay, terrific. That stunk. All right, listen. Couldn't here's say it twice. Here's the final clip. What the hell are you doing here? Dad, Scott brought these sandwiches over as a little peace offering. You know, for screwing up your deal. Wasn't that nice? Well, let's see. Sandwiches, millions of dollars. Sandwiches, <laughs> millions of dollars. Uh. <laughs> He also brought pickles. <laughs> Our biggest client just fired us because that deal fell through, thanks to this idiot. Hey, you know what? There's no need for name calling. This is my place of business, pal. I can call you Roberta if I want to. I keep waiting for something <laughs> funny. That's Dabney and Coleman. And the clip yeah. ends. Oh, my God. That's Dabney Coleman? Yeah. yeah. The fact that I recognize his voice means I should be shot. He's talking over dentures badly. Like, <laughs> is he? Is he really old now? He's great. Yeah. He's, He's got, got a loose mouth. He's got that loose denture mouth or something. Loose mouth. I, I, I told you reverse her. He, sure, sure, sure. he hasn't been good since on Golden Pond. Ah, well. <laughs> he didn't know he was in that. <laughs> Dabney Coleman, yes. He played Jane Fonda's love interest. I was thinking more of... Um, 9 to 5? Yeah, 9 to 5. There you go. That uh, is a horrid show. Who is she again? Jenna Elfman? The Rich Father... Was he rich? Yeah. You know I mean? Millions of dollars. Was he doing the weighing thing with his hands? Yes. Like he was this giant scale? Yes. The uh, uh, sandwiches, a million dollars. I hope that's what the executives are doing. And they weigh the promotional cost of this piece of shit. Piece of shit? Yeah. All right. I mean, I think there's more out there in terms of sitcoms. Yeah. You bet there are. Wow. You know what? I ought to call that a shit com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a little. That's a good one. I like that one, Anthony. I didn't have confidence in it, so I thought I'd go with that delivery where I was safe no matter what. The Munaki I would, delivery. I was goofing yeah. on it. Right. <laughs> shit com. Well, you know, there may be some good sitcoms coming. <laughs> uh, hey, right. Let's, let's hope so. You can't look at networks for the uh, good ones. No, you got to go to HBO. You got to go to HBO. Believe me, some show in America, fucking June 8th or something. Those clips will be getting played. Listen to this unfunny filth. No. June 8th? I'm just saying June oh. sometime. All right.